I'm gonna show you three hidden tricks inside of Canva that are going to streamline your content creation and just make your life so much easier. Let's get into this. Here we are inside of the builder in Canva. What I want you to do is go and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll have these three dots with the word more. So go ahead and click on that. Lots of cool features in here, but I only have time for the three. So let's go ahead and start with one that is called brand fetch. So brand fetch is going to save you an enormous amount of time when you need to fetch a logo from a brand. You could see some of the top logos are right here, but you can also put in a URL. So let's just start with, let's do www.apple.com and it's going to bring up the Apple logo. When I tell you that this particular add-on, this app blew my mind, I mean, it blew my flipping mind. I am so used to having to go to a brand's website or go to Google and search brand icons, download them, and then re-upload them. And this is especially important if you're doing YouTube videos and you're trying to do thumbnails. I do a lot of YouTube videos about Canva, about StreamYard, about Agora Pulse, and all these brands. And I used to have to download them and upload them. Now all I have to do is search and add. So amazing. And it's totally free. So this is definitely an add-on that you're going to want. Let's check out the next one. The next one is called Icon Duck. Now Icon Duck has royalty-free icons that you can use in your graphic design. You can see there are quite a few that you could just scroll through. But the reason I really love this, if I need social icons, again, I don't wanna have to go searching for social icons. So I have them right here. I can even do something like this. We're gonna do circle social and it'll bring up the circle icons there they are and i can you know shrink those down and i can add them to my different assets it's not just social icons that you can do here we let's look up icons that we need just for our assets so if i'm looking for apple here i'm going to click on apple you can see i have a whole bunch of different apple logos icons, Apple store. Oh, look at this cool vintage Apple. And then of course we just have our regular apples and these are all royalty free. Now you do have to sign up for a totally free account for this feature, but then you bring it right in. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite feature that I've discovered recently. I even did an entire video about it. So be sure to check that out at the link above, or I will also post it at the end of this video so that you can learn even more. And that particular feature is called text to image. Now text to image, just very quickly, you can put in a prompt. So for instance, a light watercolor painting of koi fish in a pond. So here's our prompt and I can choose a style. I'm gonna choose painting and you can generate an image. Once your images are generated, you will select the one that you like and it's gonna add it to your asset as you can see, but it will also add that image to your library so you can access it later. This particular tool can be great for creating truly custom images for your blog, for your social media, and for your media assets, your content marketing assets. If you found these tips for Canva helpful, go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm always sharing the cool stuff that you can do in content marketing that maybe you haven't discovered yet and I wanna help you discover that. Also, if you have questions or if you have a favorite Canva feature that you would like to share, go ahead and share it down in the comments. I'd love to see what you're using in Canva that maybe I haven't discovered yet. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and create something.